Uh, so we talked about uh, using uh, JAXB uh, to uh, write XML um, documents uh, from uh, Java objects, and we can do it vice versa. We can also read XML uh, documents into uh, Java objects using JAXB. So let's take a look at, at uh, that, and it's uh, fairly simple. Uh, the only thing that you need to do is kind of like reverse uh, the uh, direction. Once you have the uh, data model uh, implemented, uh, instead of using, um, or instead of creating a marshaller, which will uh, serialize the data that is uh, in memory and serialize it to some uh, stream, uh, either a file system or network, uh, you can reverse it and instead do an unmarshaller uh, that will unmarshal something that is in the stream, uh, either a network stream or a file system, and will instead instantiate it in, in memory. Uh, so, so we could do it for, for students. Uh, we, for, we could do it for the library of movies that we uh, wrote earlier. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look at uh, doing that um, uh, next. Uh, so, for instance, in um, uh, in our let, let's see if we could read this library uh, of of movies. Uh, so let's um, implement it in our DAO in our movies XML DAO. And so instead of write uh, library, let's read a library. So we can say uh, public a library, a read library uh, of movies from XML file uh, using uh, JAXP. And, uh, and then we need the XML, the XML file name. And it's exactly the same code as before. Uh, with the only difference is that we're going to use an unmarshaller as opposed to as a marshaller. Well, we can copy from here. Uh, let's we can grab the the JAXB context first, uh, and here's the movie class, uh, and this is um, a library, right? That's that's what we're trying to read, and there it is. Uh, so libraries that class, and what's this complaining about? Okay, it needs to. This is going to throw an exception, so we're going to wrap it. Uh, instead of a try catch block, uh, we're going to instantiate an unmarshaller so that it'll read from the file system. Uh, and we're going to have we have to import the unmarshaller. Uh, and then we're going to open up the file. We're going to read the file uh, from the base directory that we have local plus the XML file name that we passed in as an argument uh, and then we can just uh, load it from uh, from the XML file. So it's going to unmarshal XML file and it's going to generate for us an instance of library. And we're going to return here uh, the library, the movie list. We're going to say return uh, movie list uh, perhaps we might want to declare this here as null and return this here here right so if it fails uh, if something if there's a try catch block that went out we're gonna just return null right um, all right so let's try it out from the uh, from the from the uh, from main instead of writing this, uh, we're going to instead uh, read from the XML document. So we're going to say XML DAO. We wrote it in the previous uh, in the previous example. In this case, we're going to read uh, a library from an XML file, and the library, the movie, the, it's going to be movie uh, library uh, that XML is going to generate for us a library object. So library, uh, and then we can. Um, Oh, do we have library already? Oh, we have it over here. So let's uh, comment that out. Uh, and we're going to read it from the from from there, and then we can just we can just print it. And uh, we're going to say um, system dot out dot print ln uh, library library. Uh, let's try that. <clears throat> what does that print? Actually, to ver to make sure that uh, we're not 
uh, that we're not uh, uh, cheating. So let's comment that out. Right? And just declare it here. And let's comment that out. Let's just bring this up here. There we go. Uh, it didn't print, and probably because uh, printing the library uh, might need to oh, we might need to override the uh, the two string method. So it's public uh, string uh, two string. Uh, maybe we want to uh, return. Um, what do we want to return? Uh, probably we want to do what? Oh man. Uh, for a for a movie movie in movies and so this is a string uh, and so this is going to be str uh, concatenated with movie uh, so presumably movie will have a string representation and we're going to return return str uh, and so we need a string representation of the movie so this would be a public uh, string string to string uh, and then we're just going to return uh, the title let's see if that blows up Uh, movie one and movie two. Okay, so that looks like it worked. They, they were concatenated. Um, all right, so so there we go. Uh, so I mean, we can go on and on uh, about uh, you know, parsing and generating uh, XML documents with JAXP. It's a very um, it's a nice way to just load it into memory, manipulate it using object oriented techniques, right, and then just spitting it out uh, into into uh, XML document. Uh, but uh, for more more powerful um, uh, transformations. Uh, usually, it's a it's a, a good idea to instead use XLT. XLT is a, a language on its own uh, that specifies how uh, to transform one document to another document. All right. So let's look at that uh, next.